check one two check check one two all right. Hello, everybody, and thank you very much for tuning in to the Big Word Show. Right here we have Trident. Won't you guys introduce yourselves? Johnny Stone. Frank. Rick. Woo! All right, so you guys are playing a show coming up at uh, Vaudeville. What's the date on that? Uh, it's February 15th. It's Feb Thursday night. Right on. It's about 9, 9.30. So, 9, 9.30? There you go. Sorry, this is actually the first time I've used a mic. Outside it. Well, can we pick up this app without the mic? Son of a bitch. Hey, can we start that over again? Okay. All right. And thank you very much for watching the. All right. We'll do this again. We will do this again. There we go. I'm going to put the paper down. And thank you, everybody, very much for watching the big word on the Tucson Music Scene show. Right here we have Trident. Won't you guys introduce yourselves? Johnny Stone. Frank. Rick. All right, so you guys are playing a show coming up at Vaudeville? That's right. What's that? Uh, What's February 15th. It's Thursday night, and playing with Affirming the Consequence and the Chimps, I think. The Chimps, a uh, L.A. touring band. Yeah. Are they good? Uh, they're pretty good. I'm looking forward to hearing them yeah. live. Right now, we're actually, speaking of Affirming the Consequence, we are outside of their uh, studio right now. Well, they're uh, making their upcoming CD. They suck really bad, so... Um, <laughs> just wanted to throw that out there. So, how long have you guys been in the uh, Tucson music scene? Oh, about six years now. Mm -hmm. And you've come out with what seven CDs? Uh, when you break it down, a lot of them are just you know demos or just little EPs. So, closer to four, and then we have a full-length studio album in the works right now. Are you planning a CD release on that? Yes, we are. It'll be in May at the Rock. Uh, who else is going to be playing? Uh, Razor, her metal band out of Phoenix, and uh, what was the other one? Stripped. 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 Yeah. Um, let me ask you another question. This one's going to get a little bit personal. How long do you go with wearing your jeans for before washing them? Oh God, I don't think I've made it past three days. Okay. What about you? I still got pizza stains from Brooklyn, dude. Cool. <laughs> Brooklyn Pizza on Fourth Avenue. It's great. I had a pair of jeans, uh, the the pin, the pin <laughs> pants. Uh, oh, I basically sliced them all up. Put a oh, must have been two boxes of safety pins all over them. Uh, I couldn't wash those. There you go. And so, how long do you wear those without washing them? Um, I went about a year and a half without washing those. Yeah. Woo! I think that is the record. A year and a half without washing them. Not even the hand wash. Nope. Nope. That's pimp. That is pimp, sir. Now, if you were stranded on a desert island and you could only take one item with you and women are not objects, what item would you take? My guitar. Oh, what if you broke a string? That would really suck. I think I would actually have to fashion one out of my own hair. I don't know. I'd figure something out. You could always burn the, burn the, uh, burn it for firewood, right? Yeah. Okay. And if you could be any kind of tree, what kind of tree would you be? Uh, an oak. <laughs> <laughs> An oak. <laughs> All right. And so what is your what do you guys think is the most artist friendly venue here in Tucson? Mm, yeah, definitely. Vaudeville. Vaudeville? Vaudeville's been very uh it's really cool with us. I mean they've booked us quite a bit and like a lot of the other venues are just like we get blown off or it's like we'll call you back or some shit like that, but Mark's been really cool about getting us in there and, you know, getting us set up with other bands and whatnot, so. And where all of you guys worked with uh, Inside Tucson, I know you said you're doing a CD release at The Rock. You also have a show coming up at Vaudeville. Where else have you um, been working with? Uh, we have a first-time venue right now. It's a, it's a bar called The Stadium. It's up at Orange Grove and Thornydale. We're playing that this coming Thursday, the first. Um, that should be a great one. We've played at Vaudeville a couple times, Heart 5. Um, we tried uh, we tried Sharks a while ago. They kind of bombed out on us. And this band on the east side, or this band, this uh, bar on the east side called Grumpy's. Uh, I would never, don't, guys, don't bother with them. You guys played at Grumpy's, really? No, we, we tried. This was at the point where they actually switched who was uh, doing the booking, and it just all went to hell. Well, Grumpy's is tiny. Yeah. And Grumpy's is like a little uh, a hole in the wall, right? No, 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 no. You know what I'm thinking of is it's called Hector's Oasis now. 
Yes, yes, uh, yes. I'm actually going to start doing shows there, hopefully myself. It's got a different owner now, though. Kind of a neat stage. Um, did you not like it because of the sound, or was it because of the guy that you were no, working we, with? We never got to play there because they switched booking agents. And it just, oh, right, right there. Mm -hmm. And so where as a band do you guys see yourselves, or hopefully want to see yourselves in five years? In five years, um, we want to be on the road eight, nine, ten months out of the year. Um, be out there, you know, hawking our stuff, making music. Opening up for uh... whoever, Van Halen, Iron Maiden, whatever. <laughs> Hopefully Van Halen or Iron Maiden will be opening up for you, right? Well, I don't know if I could stomach that. <laughs> <laughs> the band um, is definitely going somewhere very soon, very fast. So. Yeah, you guys are pulling very well here in Tucson. Uh, six years, the six-year gap was, it was so broken up, in my opinion, it doesn't really, you know... It's more like if you put it all together, it's probably about two and a half years. I mean, for the most part, because it's like I'm talking like we'd be on for three months and then it'd be nine months off and everyone would forget because it'd be some screwed up situation. So since May, we've been officially rolling hard, pushing hard, you know, treating this kind of like in a business aspect and really, you know, trying to take off. And it's already starting to spread, you know. Do you guys, uh, do you have any management right now or are you just doing it all on your own? It's all us. All right us now. right now, but we are... Uh, we're, that's, that's one. That's one sleeve. thing we uh, we really want to delve deep into. We don't want to just grab the first person we see. You know, we're gonna do a lot of shopping around. We're on the uh, we're on the rap artist model. They all have their own record labels. They do their own <laughs> distribution, recording, everything else, and they keep all the money. Yes. That's how they get those gold chains. And so we're. <laughs> but we're not gonna be that vain, though. <laughs> so no is gold toilet seat for me. All right. Is uh, is making music your only job? No, we we all have day jobs. Uh, for now, yeah. You're all doing your thing for now, right on. Uh, a microbiologist, uh, <laughs> web master. A microbiologist, really? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Webmaster? Webmaster. Right on. And uh, how about you? Security systems. Yeah. ESM. Uh, I wait tables. Hey, we've all been there. Well, you know, I got offered a promotion the other day, and I felt like I'm not going to say it. My boss actually might see this one. Uh, <laughs> and so what's your, uh, what's your biggest accomplishment as a musician today? God, probably making this album that we're not quite finished with, but that will definitely be the biggest thing for yeah, sure. Yeah, this album is going to be huge. I mean, everyone, this is going to be huge. What's a tentative release date on it? Uh, we're thinking we're going to be wrapping it up in the end of February. Give it a month for distribution, so we're thinking right around the end of April. We're hoping to be on the street fair and have a little booth set up and kind of break it in and then have the big release party in May with Razor and Stripped. And then we're on the road in August for a full-length national tour across the country. And hopefully, you know, maybe someone will show an interest by then and help us out financially. But if not, you know, we're going to do what we need to do, rent the cargo van, hook up the trailer, and go, you know what I mean? There you go. And do you guys have any uh, tricks up your sleeve for the uh, February 15th at Vaudeville show? Oh, you know what? That kind of thing, I don't think we've ever planned ahead, except for little minor things. We we just we feel it out as we play. We try sometimes it gets crazy, i got to tell you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we try to give 200% to every show, you know what I mean? The fans are paying money to see us, you know, give them a show, you know? Right, right. It is entertainment. So, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. We're going to get going right here. We have Trident. You can find them on myspace.com slash Trident. Yes. Yes. Trident, no, it's Trident Web. Yeah, Trident Web. So, myspace.com slash Trident Web. And then what's the other actual? TridentWeb.com. TridentWeb.com. And then we will see you February 15th at Vaudeville with Affirming the Consequent. Who else? Chips. Chips. Who the fuck are chimps, dude? Who who are these guys? They're monkeys. We'll we'll see you there. There's gonna be monkeys, there's gonna be trident and some shitty ass band they call affirming the consequent. We'll see you soon. Bye Tucson. Later.